it's Alexa. I'm at the Max. Where you at? I'm on set. Wait for you. You're on set? Time out. If I'm late for work, my boss is gonna kill me. What's up, everyone? Welcome to The Cycle, presented by Budweiser. We are a traveling baseball talk show that goes from city to city, hanging out with celebrity baseball super fans. Today, we are at Dodger Stadium celebrating Jackie Robinson Day with none other than Dodgers five-star fan, Mario Lopez. Hey, Mario. Hey, thank, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> thank, how you doing, Lexa? I, I'm doing well. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. So I've celebrated Jackie Robinson Day at different ballparks around nice. the country, but I've never done it here at Dodger Stadium. This is where it means the most. Exactly. This the is, franchise. He was a Dodger. Exactly. We're in front of the statue. Exactly. Bud even made these special 42 bottles. Look at that. Right. And he's such an we icon. The coolest thing to me is that he's bigger than baseball. Yeah. Okay, salute. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, it's been about, uh, what, 80 years, if my math is correct, uh, um, when he made his uh, professional debut, obviously broke the, the color barriers, first person of color, to, to play uh, uh, baseball, clearly long overdue. and, and um, Everyone uh, who's a person of color can relate, but aside from the big great player, he was a great, he was a great person and, and a, a native Angelino. Uh -huh. So it was kind of cool that he, he was a Dodger. I know at the time it was a Brooklyn Dodger, but now that he's here in L.A. and everyone wears 42 and everyone honors him around, uh, around parks uh, across America, it makes it incredibly special. What's it like being here at Dodger Stadium to celebrate Jackie Robinson Day? Well, I've actually been here a couple times during Jackie Robinson Day, and it's, it, it, it's awesome. There's no better... But, I mean, of course, I'm biased, but there's no better uh, place to watch baseball than here at, at Dodger Stadium. We got the best fans in the world. We got the best <laughs> weather in the world. Um, and there's so much history and great culture here. And and uh, I, my family and I love love coming. It's my favorite team sport. One of the faces of this franchise, Cody Bellinger, who's young and hungry. Uh, I know you know him pretty well didn't recognize you a couple of years ago when he was doing an interview. I don't know if you've seen this. Take a look. Full house. Not full house. Try it again. Friends. Nope. Not friends. John Stamos. Nope. Saved by the bell. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> when you first saw that clip, hey, what was your reaction? I've been a lot of things and a lot of worse things than that, so I'll take John Stamos every day. That's fu it's so funny. You know, at that point, I hadn't met him, and I met him about a week later. Um, I, I think doing something charity wise right uh -huh. here, and then he was also on my. Uh, he was also I had him on a guest on my radio show, and he's a really young guy, so it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's it's not a surprise to be honest. So I was talking to Cody Bellinger today on the field, and I brought that up to him, and he was like, "Man, you know, now we're boys, but I kind of feel bad that that <laughs> even happened." And I was like, "Hey, listen, here's your chance to apologize." So he did. Oh, Mario. First things first, I apologize for calling you John Stamos. Uh, I was under a lot of pressure with the TV. I didn't mean it. And uh, thank you for always supporting us. That's awesome. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> you can call me John Stamos anytime. <laughs> I want that clip. Uh, I'll take you it any day. It? He's great. I ask. <laughs> uh, I'll accept it. Like I said, you can call me Stamos anytime. <laughs> it's a compliment. You're buddies with a lot of these players. What's it like being boys with them, though, when you show up to the game and they come up to you and say hi? It's cool. It's cool. You know, they're young because I'm old. Yeah. So it makes me feel because I was like, damn, you were born when? Right. <laughs> so totally. they're all really young, but they're all real cool guys, very down to earth and, you know, got a heck of a team. So you were voted father of the year, no surprise. Oh, and you. obviously yeah. your son would agree with that because you took him to that 18 inning, seven hour World Series yeah. game last October. How'd your yeah. wife feel about that? Yeah, she was pretty cool. I mean, I live not too far away, so I got I get home like in 15 minutes to be honest with you. <laughs> but it's funny because I've been at the longest World Series game here and also the shortest, wow. which was the year before when they played um, the Astros right. and it was game one. It was the shortest and the hottest. As a matter of fact, those are some fun facts. Anybody cool was here, it was so like hot. it was literally like I was looking up the scoreboard and it was 102. So oh it was God. unbelievable. And then the game was over so quick. So I was like, oh, it's it's it. But we won that. We're like, one. we need to get out of here because we yeah we got the W <laughs> we and we're that. sweating. I'm like, yeah, but it was like you know it was a night, so it wasn't like the sun was glaring necessarily. So but it was cool. So yeah, I've been to the longest, I've been to the shortest, and I've been to the hottest. Which one did you like the most? I like the ones we won. <laughs> Those Good are the answer. Ones I like the most. Good answer. There's been a lot of winning for this franchise over the last six years. Yeah. 
but back-to-back -back World Series losses, man, can start to take a toll. So for this season, is it World Series title or bust? Well, every year I think it's World Series title or bust. And I'm the, <laughs> I'm the eternal optimist, so yeah. I, I like the way we're looking so far. So you grew up in San Diego, but you're a Dodgers fan. <laughs> well, Tell I've me how that happened. I've been coming here since I, was in, since I was about 10 years old. And, um, I, you know, listen, like Mexican culture is synonymous with Dodger culture. So I think if you're Mexican, you got to be a Dodger fan. <laughs> it's a lot of raza right here, I know already. <laughs> See, exactly. I was like, a guy. So it's just, you know, and then uh, I think being a little kid and seeing uh, uh, Fernando Valenzuela pitch in 81, and he was the first rookie of the year and Cy Young award winner uh, ever, and he was 18. And, right, right. And, you know, like I said, when you're Mexican, it, it just it really resonated. Um, and then uh, uh, seeing the series with the A's and with Kirk Gibson, there was just a lot of things that were impressionable when you were a kid. So, and my dad liked him, so that's how I became a fan. We've been in LA for about 36 hours. Okay. So this is our first time here at Dodger Stadium. But when we're not here at the ballpark, where's somewhere we should go, hit up, and, and have a good time? In LA. In LA. Oh well, you know you got to do things that you're not able to to take advantage of when you're out in the, the East Coast. There's so many great beach little communities here, and hit up Hollywood, young person like yourself, and <laughs> a lot of great places <laughs> to eat. And uh, um, you know it's a fun. LA's LA's fun. What's your favorite place to eat? Oh my God, there's too many. You got to like break it down by. All right. Oh my God, there's too many. There's too many places. How I got to rack my brain. I can't. How about your favorite taco spot? Favorite taco spot. I like. Uh, I like. There's little taco trucks. I like. It's. Um, I like a little marisco trucks called uh, uh, El Bigeton. Okay. Which is a marisco truck. Those are. Those are. Those are good. I'm more of like a food truck guy. Love that. All right. Time to play a game. You're going to put this blindfold on, and without using your hands, you're going to tell me what these items are just by the smell. Mario, we're calling it Saved by the Smell. Got it. All right. First item here. This is a staple food at Dodger Stadium. Can't use your hands. Oh, got it. Got it. All right. First up, this is a staple at Dodger Stadium. Hot dog, Hot dog with like yeah, some sauerkraut. Yeah, that's, that's a Dodger dog. Dodger dog right there, yeah. There you go. That was pretty easy. This one might be a little more difficult. It's essential to the sport. They're unique to every position. And I argue that every adult should be allowed to bring these to the ballpark. Wait, is that a pretzel? No. Not a pretzel. It's a baseball glove. Oh, it's a baseball yeah. glove. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to get in there with this right, one. What is this? I'm going to describe it for you. It's sticky. It's brown. What is it, resin? What is it? It's something that players rub on their bats. Is that pine tar? Yeah, nicely oh, done. Pine tar. pine tar. It's a tricky one. Is that Finally, it? Mario. Done? No, one more, one more. <laughs> tell me what this smells like. Where is it? it? Smells like history, I'll tell you that. That's a hat or a shirt. Jersey? Take your blindfold off. It's an authentic Jackie Robinson jersey, and that is yours, my friend. You get to take that home. Oh, oh thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Mario. I'm going to put this on right now. This is great. You get to rock that for thank Jackie Robinson so Day wow, awesome. this year at the ballpark. It. So thank great you. having you. Thank you so much. Good thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank, thank you to the city of L.A. All right. And we are at The Cycle on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you check us out. We'll see you somewhere soon.